Hello, this is Gabriela again. Uh, this is a continuation to my recording about Pluto in Capricorn and its effects, where I said that when Pluto, the ruler of the underworld, or the sign of Capricorn entered, the uh, sign of Scorpio entered Capricorn in 2008, with it the underworld uh, the Scorpio is, uh, is sig signifies hidden, pl uh, hidden places, mafia, the black market, the Me Too, the Boko Haram, and if you don't know what it is, there is a link in my blog. It is the kidnapping of uh, Nig Nigerian women and children and uh, girls and uh, raping them. Uh, Scorpio is also symbolized by the dark web. So I was looking how is Pluto in Capricorn affects the government when the underworld enters the government what happens we have the mafia ruling the governments so then somebody I also said that uh, Pluto will enter uh, Aquarius will leave Capricorn and enter Aquarius in March 24th 2023. So a friend of mine asked me what will happen to the society and to the to the people, the sign of Aquarius, when Pluto enters this sign. So what I did, I ran Z, my software, to see when when was Pluto in Aquarius from year 1000 until year 2100 and we can see that only because the cycle of pluto is about 268 years uh, for 1100 years pluto was in aquarius five times it will be next time in 2023 until 2043 so you can check what happened during all these years and there were many wars and uh, many catastrophes going on but uh, what I was uh, what I what we should also check what happened not only with Pluto in Aquarius but with other planets also in different signs like Neptune and Uranus, which are the slow-moving planets. So, Pluto in Aquarius, no doubt, will bring huge social change. Aquarius is ruled by Uranus and by the ancient astrology, also by Saturn. So, Pluto is deposited or ruled by Uranus. Aquarius is the 11th sign of the wheel and it is the sign of freedom and relations with people, with groups of people. It is the sign of big enterprises or of the Senate in a mundane chart. Also the sign of big organizations and social activities. When Pluto, the big destructor, enters the sign of all these, they will be destroyed and rebuilt for the next 20 years until 2024 when or 23 when pluto leaves aquarius and enters uh, pisces so here is the chart for the time when pluto will be in in aquarius and you can see the inner chart is from much to uh, March 23, 2023, Pluto, Pluto is at the last degree of Capricorn and until January 19, 2024, Pluto will be in the last degree of Aquarius. What else happens here? Neptune in 2023 is still in Pisces. And in 2024, uh, 2044, uh, Neptune is in Taurus. Okay, so let me go back. Okay, here is the chart 
of all the planetary aspects and the ingresses of the planets in different signs. We can see here when is uh, Pluto entering uh, Aquarius and when is uh, Saturn also enters Pisces and together with Neptune it will be in Pisces in uh, 2023, 24, 25. Okay, so here I wrote Saturn enters Pisces on July 3rd, 23. The COVID-19 should disappear till then. I know it's a long time, but only Saturn can uh, bring some uh, restriction into Neptune, into Pisces. Uranus leaves Taurus in July 7, 25 and enters Gemini. That will bring a magic scientific breakthrough. Uranus enters Cancer on May 22nd, 2033. And Neptune leaves Pisces in favor of Aries on uh, March 30th, 2025. So here are the aspects that Neptune made an aspect, uh, met Neptune aspected Pluto. Neptune was uh, in Aries and Pluto in Aquarius. Now why is this important? This is important, here are all the aspects that Neptune made to Pluto. Why is this important? It is important because the same aspect occurred during World War II, only in opposition. Uranus was at the same position as it is now between 2344 in Taurus and Gemini. And uh, the Neptune and Pluto were 180 degrees from where they will be now. So here are some history and what happened in the, in, in the World, World, War, uh, World War II. I put up here a few uh, dates when the World, the World War broke out. It was, uh, happened before, on March 11, 1938, Germany incorporates Austria in the Anschluss. Mars was at 29 Aries, Uranus in 10 Taurus, today is at 9 Taurus. Jupiter was at 18 Aquarius, today is also there. Neptune is, uh, was 18, 19 Virgo, 180 to, su to the Sun. And Pluto at the last degree of Cancer. World War II breaks out on September 1, 39, when Uranus was stationary and conjunct Algol at 21 Taurus 58. Also, Uranus 120 or trine to Neptune on the 22nd killer degree of Virgo. So here is Virgo on the 22nd degree when the World War II broke out. Uranus was in trine. <coughs> You can see, and Uranus was conjunct, this is Uranus, Uranus was conjunct stationary, very, very strong, and conjunct Algol. Algol is one of the worst uh, fixed stars of Taurus, and uh, I wanted to check when will Uranus be again conjunct Algol. So since, uh, 13, uh, since 1939, uh, Algol moved from 21 Taurus to 26 Taurus. So Uranus will be conjunct only in 2024, and it will be retrograde and direct again, so it will conjunct uh, Algol three times. So I think that these times will be extremely bad adding up the Pluto in Aquarius and Neptune uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Pisces and in areas where they were during World War II. So we are looking into a very, very dark future, unfortunately, and I hope you, we will all be safe. Good luck.